Terry Kislarich, and this is NEMC TV6 Community Minute. Every day across the nation, disasters and emergency events take place. You only need to listen to the TV or radio broadcast to know that there are events daily somewhere in the country. This is why it is recommended that every citizen should be prepared. Water, food, and clean air are important things to have if an emergency strikes. Emergency management recommends that each household should have at least a 72-hour emergency supply kit that is customized to fit your family needs. Here are some basic items that you should include in your preparedness kit. Food, at least a three-day supply of non-perishable food per person. Water, one gallon per person per day for at least three days. A battery-powered or hand-cranked radio and extra batteries. Flashlight and extra batteries. A first aid kit. A whistle, should you need to call for help. A dust mask to help filter contaminated air. Sanitation items such as moist towelettes, garbage bags, and plastic ties. A manual can opener for opening food. Clothing, shoes, and bedding. Important family documents such as copies of insurance policies, bank accounts, medical records, and even possibly birth certificates. Unique family items such as daily prescription medications, infant formula, or diapers. Additional items that you may want to include in your preparedness kit are cash, coins, or traveler's checks, emergency reference materials such as a first aid book, disinfectant and household chlorine bleach, a fire extinguisher, tools and supplies such as pliers and work gloves, personal hygiene items, eating utensils, paper and pencil, chargers for your electronics such as your cell phone or your computer, plastic sheeting and duct tape for sheltering inside, pet supplies, books, games, or puzzles for your children. In the event of an emergency, the Macomb County Sheriff's Dispatch Office will set off the sirens. Should you hear the sirens, you should take shelter immediately. If you haven't been impacted by the loss of power, you should refer to your local TV and or radio stations to ascertain what the threat is, and you should always follow the directions that have been given. The system may be acted for the following weather conditions. Tornado warning issued by the National Weather Service for our area. Severe thunderstorm warning accompanied by winds of 70 miles an hour or greater as issued by the National Weather Service for our area. Tornado and or funnel cloud sightings that have been verified by a reputable source. The system may also be activated for other events that require immediate alerting of our population to take certain protective actions. These events include, but are not limited to, hazardous material spill that may impact the community and require either an evacuation or in-place sheltering, or an attack warning for Macomb County. For your information, the outdoor warning system is tested the first Saturday of each month at 1 p.m. The 911 system in our county and in your community should only be utilized to report an actual emergency. It should not be used to notify the dispatch center that either the sirens have been activated to question why the sirens are activated. There are other sources for this type of information which include your local radio and TV outlets and the National Weather Service app. The communities that participate in the Macomb County Outdoor Warning System are Armada Township, Bruce Township in the village of Romeo, Chesterfield Township in New Baltimore, Clinton Township, East Point, Frazier, Harrison Township, Lennox Township, Macomb Township, Mount Clemens, New Haven, Ray Township, Richmond and Richmond Township, St. Clair Shores, Utica, and Washington Township. If you'd like additional information on personal preparedness, Macomb County Emergency Management offers many suggestions on their website at www.oemc.macombgov.org. There you'll find information on sheltering guidelines for severe wind and tornado events, safe rooms, and what to do if you live in an apartment, a mobile home, or are caught outdoors with no sheltering nearby in a severe weather event. They have also developed a book available for download that can help walk your family through creating your own personalized emergency preparedness plan. Remember, it is up to you. I'm Terry Kuslarich for NEMC TV6, and remember, stay safe.